Hello, this is Chris from Quadshot Software with the first in a series of videos about Open Tickets Community Edition. In front of me, I've got a base installation of the latest version of WordPress ready to go. The first thing I'm going to want to do is to change one of the settings. So if we go down to the settings menu and select permalinks, we're going to want to change the permalinks from the default setting to that of post name. Once that's done we can save the changes. Now Community Open Tickets is built upon the framework of WooCommerce so that's going to be the first plugin we're going to want to install. So from the plugins section we're going to add a new plugin and in the search box we're going to enter WooCommerce. There it is on the left hand side and so I'm going to select install now and OK. Once installed, which doesn't take very long, we need to activate it this generally takes a little bit longer, so please bear with me while this plugin activates. Once this has been done, you'll notice near the top of the screen we're invited to install the WooCommerce pages here under this button. Please do go ahead and action this. Those pages are now installed and now it's time to install the Open Tickets plugin. So back into the plugin section and add a new plugin. And this time in the search plugins box, we're going to put Open Tickets Community Edition. There it is on the left and so I'm going to select install and OK. Again, having installed the plugin, let's go ahead and activate it. When you activate it, you'll be asked if you'd be willing to provide us with some statistics about how you're using it so that we can better prepare uh, new features or find out exactly how it is that you're using the product. Once we've done this there are some settings within WooCommerce that we need to configure in order for it to be able to work okay with open tickets. So from the WooCommerce drop-down menu I'm going to select settings. In the general settings there are a few that we're going to want to set. First of all, base location. I'm not in the United Kingdom, I'm in fact in Las Vegas, and so I want to be able to set my location to be United States, Nevada. I'm happy to sell to all locations, but the currency here that I'm going to be selling is not pound sterling, it's going to be US dollars. Once I've selected that, I can scroll to the bottom of the screen and save those changes. The next section you're going to want to go into is the checkout section. And I strongly advise you to disable this guest checkout. The reason for this is that this forces all of your buyers to set up an account on your system so that you and importantly they can track all the purchases that they make if you have guest checkout enabled and there is a problem with a transaction it can sometimes be very difficult for both uh, you and your customer to figure out exactly what has gone on so again I strongly urge disabling guest checkout. Once that's been done, at the bottom of the page are the payment methods that you can use. 
if you don't want to buy any additional options from WooCommerce and you want to go as is, what I suggest you do is make PayPal be the default method of payment. You can also accept check payments and direct bank transfers if you like, but I've we found in the past that PayPal is, is one of the most easy ways to proceed with this. And again, save the changes. The final one we're going to look at is shipping. If you are only going to be selling tickets and these are going to be delivered by email, you're going to want to disable these two shipping entries. <laughs> Having done that, we'll again save the changes and you're now ready to set up your first event in Open Tickets, ready to sell on your website.